Hey everyone, welcome back to another Splatoon Tips video. If you haven't seen my previous Tower Control Tips video, um, check it out. And if you already have, watch it again and remind yourself of those tips because I know for a fact that someone in my private battles definitely needs to follow them. And if you already know these tips that I'm going to show you today, great. But a lot of people still make these mistakes and there are always new players that can benefit from them. Anyway, let's get started. We're going to continue from our last tower control tips video. Number 5. When to get on the tower. At the beginning of the match, don't make a beeline for the tower and think that you're going to be able to push it all by yourself. The entire enemy team is already there and they're going to shoot you down. In this clip, this inkling just runs straight for the tower. Let's see how long he's going to last. less than a second. So then you might be asking yourself, when do you get on the tower? You generally want to get on the tower when there are more of you than them. And you also want to get on it when they're distracted. Number 6. When to get off the tower. One of my viewers in my live streams complained he was losing because he was the only one on his team that was on the tower. I don't know the exact situation he was in as I wasn't watching him play, but as I said in my previous tower control tips video, there should only be one player on the tower, so that wasn't a problem. I think the problem is that he keeps dying when he's on the tower. Look, you're not invincible. There may have been times where you're able to splat your enemies while you're on the tower. And it feels great, I know. It's empowering when that happens because you're splatting other players and you're moving the objective. But that can be your downfall too, right? Don't get too cocky on the tower. Know when to jump off. As you can see in this clip, I probably would have died if I stayed on it. Yes, the tower stopped moving but I'm still alive and I got back on it shortly after and we barely lost any distance. So sometimes it's better not to be overly aggressive with the tower. Number 7. Don't jump off the tower when it's overtime. With the exception of splash walls, killer whales, ink strikes, and to some extent bombs because those you can still sometimes avoid. Um, yeah, so you should never jump off the tower when your team is behind in overtime because a sneaky enemy can get on the tower and steal it from you. I know this because I've stolen towers from the enemy team several times before. Don't tell the squid police. In this clip, the enemy team is trying to push the tower in overtime. Keep your eye on the enemy roller and watch me steal it once he gets off the tower. Stay on the tower if you can and fight. And if you end up dying, whatever, at least you tried. It's better than having someone steal it away from you. Number 8. Use your Krakens and Bubblers at the last second when getting hit. You want to ride the tower as long as you can and only use your Bubbler and Kraken in case of emergencies and when you go through choke points. In this clip, this player uses Kraken way too early. No enemy was around nor was he or she being attacked. And guess what, when the Kraken wore off, they attacked and that Kraken player died. I bet that player wished he or she didn't use it so soon, huh? Instead, try to use it when you're getting hit. In this clip, I'm riding the tower by myself and no one is really around. It's a pretty tense situation. I don't know where the enemy is. They could be waiting to pounce on me, I don't know. I could have used the bubbler right here to keep myself safe, but that would have been a waste. Instead, I just waited. I waited until they attacked, and I waited until I'm about to take damage. That is when I used it, and guess what? We won because of that. So use it at the last second. Number 9. Get on the tower when they're about to take the lead. You hear me saying this all the time to my teammates during ranked matches in my live streams. Get on the tower. 
Maybe you guys don't know this, but if there are players from both teams on the tower, the tower stops moving. I have lost so many matches because teammates refuse to get on it as the opponent is closing in for the lead. I always see players shoot at the tower to try to stop whoever is on it. I've got bad news for you. Whoever is on the tower can just dodge your shots like this and continue to gain distance. Get on the tower. Not only do you have a better shot at killing whoever is on the tower, but most importantly you're preventing the tower from moving. Take a look at this clip. We lost the lead and as a result of it, the match, because my teammates refused to jump on the tower and try to kill them. They thought they could just kill them from a safe distance. Well guess what, they didn't do that and it cost us the match. Snipers are the biggest offenders of this. They are so afraid of dying. If you're not willing to jump on the tower to save the match, then I don't even know what to say. Let's look back at the clip I showed earlier. An enemy sniper was clearly right above me, and he could have jumped down to kill me, but he was so afraid to get on it that it literally cost his team the match. Very rarely do I see snipers willing to risk their in-game lives to get on the tower. Don't be afraid to get on it and possibly die. This game isn't just about having a good kill to death ratio. So Inklings, what's the more of the story here? Get on the tower. Just don't try to get on it when they're like 5 or 10 distance away from taking the lead. That's just way too close and it's way too risky. Get on the tower. I don't care what weapon you're using, just get on it. You don't want to risk them taking the lead and having that costing you the match. I would even go as far as saying stop the tower from moving even if they're not close to taking the lead. I mean why risk giving them the chance of winning, right? Anyway, that's it for now. I have more tips to share with you all in the future. If you found these tips helpful or if you know anyone that can benefit from them, please share them. Love you all. Bye.